Good day. In this video, we are trying to solve question 1D, part 1 and part 2 of the 2022 NCA Level 3 Statistics Paper Probability Concept. And without further ado, let's try to solve this problem. The school is supporting their senior students, year 11 to 13, to encourage them to pursue their preferred pathway after high school. In total, the high school has 475 students in the senior school. A survey was conducted at the start of the academic year in 2022 with every senior student and their parents asked to identify the preferred pathway after high school. In total, 71.6 students were intending to go to university. So in a the table there, they are 100%. 71.6 intend to go to university, so Green University is 71.6. 63.4 were intending to go to university and were following their preferred pathway. So Green University and follow pathway 63.4. Okay, and 25.3 were not intending to go to university but were intending to follow their preferred pathway. So follow their pathway, going not going to university 25.3. Okay, so now we are going to calculate the number of senior students who were not intending to go to university and were not intending to follow their pathway immediately after high school. So this, the one in black are given, so we can calculate the one in red. So 100 minus 71.6 is 28.4, 63.4 plus 25.3 is 88.7. So we can find this and we can find this. Once we have done that, we can calculate this because 100 minus 88.7 is 11.3. And to get the two middle number, we take 71.6 minus 63.4 will give us 8.2. And then 28.4 minus 25.3 will give us 3.1. Once we have that, we are able to calculate the probability if you know this table. So the, the question is, calculate the number of senior students. There are 475 senior students who were not intending to go to university and were not intending to follow the career pathway immediately after high school. So we have to look at this number here. So the probability not following pathway, not going to university is 3.1 or 0 0.031. To calculate the number of students not intending to go to university and not following the pathway, you just take 475 students multiplied by 0 0.031 and then you put in your calculator, that should give you a total of 15 students okay so if it is a uh, 14.725 the answer is actually 14.725 you have to round them up because you cannot have 14.725 students so you can get it you get an achieve okay great now we are going to use this table again okay i'm going to leave the table here and try to calculate the second part of the question okay so the second part of the question is it is claimed that it is twice as likely for students to following their preferred path career if they intended to go to university compared to not going to university. Comment on this data to support the claim. So if you know this is called a conditional probability, probability of A given B is probability of A and B divided by probability of B. This is conditional probability. You should know this. So to calculate the probability that followed pathway given that they go to university and then the second part is calculate the followed pathway and not university and we are going to calculate both of them okay so we have to use the table to solve them okay so now we are first going to calculate the probability that they follow the pathway and university given that you go to university so you're going to be following this formula followed pathway and university divide by the second number which is the university so calculate the probability of followed pathway and university divide by probability of university to do that we have to look at the table okay so we are going to look at the table okay i'm going to put it down so that we can see it better okay okay so we have the table as well as we have the question okay so now followed pathway and university we are going to look at here, followed pathway and going to university is 63.4. And then going to university is going to be 71.6. Okay, put in your calculator and the answer is going to be 0 0.89. Okay, so we have done that 0 0.89. Then we are going to do the second part. Okay, second part is followed pathway and not, 
uh, sorry, followed pathway given that is not university, for the you find the probability of followed pathway and not university divided by probability not university. Okay, so we are still using the table. So the table again, followed pathway and not university, followed pathway and not university is going to be followed pathway and not university is going to be 25.3% and not university is going to be 28.4%. Okay, you are required to go in the calculator and again the answer is 0 0.89. So if the answer is the same for 0 0.89, the question asks you whether it is twice that if they, they followed. This claim is not supported and the, for, for the probability of following a pathway is about equal. Both of them are 0 0.89. If they intended on going to university compared to not going to university, the claim that is double is not correct twice as likely so we can claim that it is not correct not supported and that is how you answer and that will give you a merit in this paper good luck and i see you in question 1e in the next video and that will be an a, a, a venn diagram question and i see you soon cheers everyone have a good day